The Valley of the Old Farm brings back a lot of memories. This is a map that has been around since Farming Simulator 17. It came out similar time around when Seasons came out, and it was one of the first maps that I actually got into and started playing around on. I learned basically how to play Farming Simulator, how to do animals, everything on this map. And now that it is here for Farming Simulator, 22, a third iteration of the map, I thought, what a wonderful time to jump back in, check out some old areas, check out some places where we did some crazy stuff like this area, for example, and um, and have a lot of really cool equipment to do it with. Oh, and uh, you can't forget about a toothpaste tractor, which this map is where it originated. I did not set up the toothpaste tractor, but I did get a landy. And, and it's toothpaste tractor. So you know what? Perfectly fine. And here's the equipment that we have chosen. A Massey Ferguson farm. We've got the uh, 7347S, but forgot what name that was, plus the header that goes with it. This little guy, look at this, little multiplayer, 35X. I've gone for a 7S, but this is a modified version. It's old mod up, and then we've gone for AMG Agri's 5S with a front loader. I'm also going to be using BC Bueller Swather Pack on this. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. We've got the Massey Ferguson Round Baler. Yeah, I love that. Just came out. But since we're doing round bales, we need one this as well. Plus, we've got a planter that I painted red. Oh yeah, and there's a plow way over there. One of the nice things about this version of the game, and pretty much all of them, is you can reset stuff over to the store. Or say to the store. To the main farm right here. There were some things that I wanted to use on this because they're just epic. Like this little tractor right here. I've had to go with big wheels to make it look <laughs> look right, but you know, I just felt like I couldn't do everything justice if I didn't use some sort of just epic small old classic tractor and this is the one I've gone for. As I mentioned, our big tractor is going to be that 7S. It only has 210 horsepower, so we we may get ourselves into a little bit of trouble here and there because I can imagine that's not going to be enough power for the things that I want to do. Some of the equipment may not be used a bunch. So example, the swather pack right here. I only plan on using this as a mower and I've actually gone for this because, man, it's so easy to use. I, it's almost weird to try to use anything else when mowing. So, uh, yeah. The swather pack it is. And I totally had to go with the 5S as far as our smaller tractor, I guess. I don't really need more than two. Uh, but this tractor is just an epic machine. AMG Agri absolutely killed it with this one. So I had to go with it. And we went with a bell spike as well, because we're going to do round bells, because I hate myself. Yes, I know this is a square bell <laughs> bell spike. Leave me alone. Honestly, the combine harvester was not as difficult as you would have expected it to be of a choice for me, but it was still not the easiest choice in the world. Still, I was able to solidify on this guy right here, but we can upgrade in the future if we want to. However, I don't foresee us ever needing a harvester bigger than this on this map. And of course, all of our equipment that we've gone for, including my favorite right here, Massey Ferguson Fastbell. Well, I say Massey Ferguson, it's, uh-oh, crash counter. It's not a Massey Ferguson, it's it's just a, a baler. But Mark put this together and it's absolutely epic. I, I could not imagine trying to do a series without this. So we had to go for it. As for the trailers I've gone for, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be the best decision I've ever made, but you know what? Uh, we're going with Branners again. I love these trailers. Absolutely love them to death. We'll try and back up to these and, and hook. Did I get it locked? Yes, I got it locked. So there is an axle lock mod that's on PC. And yeah, I had to, had to get it just so I could <laughs> back these up to each other. Good thing is they both hold 50,000, so it'll be a little easier to manage. Think back up right there. There we go. Oh, Crap. I've gone for onyx black wheels, and then I went with uh, different colors on here. A little bit different. So, first one is going for the hardy color, and then I think this guy right here... Well, let's see if we back out of the trigger there. Uh, this is the Bachman. So, I don't know, just try to go with something a little bit different where you'd see them driving like, ah, they bought those at two different times. Yeah! So, when I first started playing the Valley of the Old Farm, it was not so much a series as it was just kind of a day in the life of a farmer. 
Every day was a little bit different, but of course there was always things that I needed to do, and and I'm kind of considering doing that whole shtick again. Because it worked really well for me, I liked it, I enjoyed it, and I have no idea where to park these trailers. And I did want to go with some more modern equipment. I know we've got some pretty good Massey Ferguson classic stuff in the game already, but I, for this one I really just wanted to stick with like some newer looking stuff. Uh, that way we could use some of the coolest stuff that's out right now. I do know for today though, there are a few things that I do want to accomplish. One thing that I want to accomplish is harvesting the wheat field. So that should be nice and simple. We could also probably get started on the canola field as well, depending on how much time we've got. And I would like to get up, is that where it is? I think that's where it is. Shit skip, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, nope, that's not where I wanted. This, this is what I wanted. I don't know why I thought this was not in the farm <laughs> yard. So this is a production chain. This is a, uh, like a vegetable garden, basically. So what we need to do is get water and straw in, and then it'll make tomatoes, strawberries, lettuce, red lettuce, and melons. So, yeah, I, I want that. I want that to happen. That's the thing. So, Let's make it happen. I remember in previous games, this is the bumpiest road on earth. So we should be good here. Let's go and unfold and we will get this harvested. Now, this harvester is something that I have maybe done a little bit of modifications to. Don't worry too much about it if I have or have not. Uh, all you need to know is I have. Uh, I mean, uh, I might have. And and that's that's that. <laughs> Never did I think that trees would get in my way of doing harvesting, at least not around here. One thing I am is hiring up the worker as I'm going up and down this hill. I did one ring all the way around. I did a continuous one. That way I can come back through at the very end and do just one loop and be done with it. But the rest of this is pretty much being done with the worker, at least to get it nice and straight. And we are done. I did okay. 10,000 liters of wheat. Not, not great. Not terrible. Could have been better. Just is what it is, I guess. While the uh, while the rest of that's going on, I'm just gonna go over here and hit a couple headlands real fast on the canola field. That way, at least I could just hire a worker and let him rock this because I don't wanna have to do this whole thing myself. It's not a tiny field. It's not a massive field. It's just a field that exists uh, that's gonna take a whole lot longer than I wanna take. So I will do my best. We'll hit this and then we'll just hire a worker on him that should hypothetically work. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I've hit two headlands and I'm hiring a worker. And, and you know what? Whatever whatever happens, happens. I'll, I'll come back through in a minute and figure it all out. So let's, uh, oh yeah, by the way, what's the, what's it looking like? 14%. I think we're okay for now. I think we're doing all right. We'll go ahead and park this out of the way. And we need to go get our baler because we're gonna bail up some of this straw. And I have thought about this as well. So straw works really well as a loose item in farming simulator. And I, I don't know if I want to make bales just to put them in there. Some places don't even take straw bales. You have to use loose straw. So I've come up with an idea and a solution. So what I've done is I have gone and got the pottinger that we use quite a bit. It works really well, so uh, why try anything else? Plus, I get to use this tractor. I could probably use something a little bit smaller, but I'm not sure that tiny little Massey would quite get the job done. So we're gonna use this. This will at least give us loose straw, and we'll have to uh, figure out from there where to store this. But I do have an idea for that too. Okay, not too bad. We've got 44,000 liters of straw. That's not, well, not bad at all. We also need a way to get water because we gotta put water in here. I'm not sure how to do that. Nonetheless, uh, here's straw. I think it goes in this little spot. Oh, that is not a trigger. Um, huh. Oh, well, there is a tip trigger right over there, isn't there? I guess we just back right in. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Couple thousand liters in. Oh, I can upgrade it too because I have upgradable factories. How much does it cost? A dollar? <laughs> Yo, yep, we we have a level 10 vegetable garden, my dudes, and it'll hold 50,000 liters of straw. Oh, that's, that's all of it. How much water? 30,000? I don't have enough. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to use for that from Omatana. 
this the <clears throat> this thing yeah um it's a little bit big and the then the wheels are green i don't i don't actually know how to keep those from being green and 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 none of my greens match but but if i do black the green stands out if i do light gray the green still stands out and and if i do this it's it's all blue but oh you know what that's actually not too bad you know what? Let's go with that. All right. So there's another 8,800 bucks, and we need to reset that. And the harvesters did a pretty good job as well. We actually went a little bit further than I wanted him to because I wanted to stop it. But you know what? Perfect timing right here. Turn it on. Hire him up. Ha ha ha. Yeah. So this guy, this is what I wanted it. Boy, does that take off up to 20 miles an hour quickly. I figured this would be perfect for this trailer. Let's see if we can get it lined up. Even in first person. All right, take it easy, easy. Got it. Now we need a water source. Uh, that one I'm not too sure about. All right, well, water's basically free, so I just cheated it in. Don't tell anybody, thanks. And we get to offload water right there. We'll double check the production chain. It is going in right about there. And the rest is good. We've got it set to spawn, but I'm not sure that's something that I want. I think we may set these to sell just so we get a little bit extra profit. So we'll go ahead and set all of these to selling. That way we don't have to worry too much. Perfect. So I'd say that's probably pretty good for day one here on the Valley of the Old Farm. We've gotten quite a bit done and we started getting a few other things done as well. Uh, this is definitely going to be beneficial for us moving forward. And we've got a lot more to do. Hey, the harvester's almost done. Perfect timing.